I'm sure by now you've heard about how important retirement is in your financial planning. It's one of those financial goals that most people in personal finance are pretty obsessed with because it's one of the things you know is going to happen at some point in your life. You are going to retire. You're going to retire at some point in the future and you're going to need money for a period of time after that to kind of sustain you. And so the product that people then recommend for you to plan for your retirement is called a pension plan. And so in this video, I'm going to break down to you why pension plans are important, what they are, and some of the advantages that you can really benefit from if you participate in a pension plan. My name is Val Joroge. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Africa's Pocket, and we are your one-stop shop to learn about, plan for, and act on your finances. And so in today's video, my expectation is that you will get to understand really how pension plans work and then some of the questions that you can ask your pension plan provider to make sure that it's the right one for you. And so let's start by de defining a pension plan. So this is really a type of investment vehicle where there is a fund manager who takes money from employers and employees and takes their contributions and invests them with the goal of giving you either a lump sum at retirement or a combination of a lump sum and periodic payments. So these periodic payments can be monthly, quarterly, annually, depending on what you agree to. So there are usually a couple of types of pension plans. So the first one is called a defined contribution plan. And that's one where you say, this is how much I'm going to contribute every month. I will contribute this much. My employer will contribute this much. And then you can, you contribute for a long time. And at the end of it, you can claim for your lump sum and or a combination of a lump sum and a sort of periodic payment. And then there's another one, which is a defined benefit plan. So these ones are less common, but the idea here is that you contribute a certain amount of money every month. And then based on how many years you've worked or your level of service, your rank, etc., then you know that you're going to get a certain amount of money every month or every quarter, or every year, once you retire. These are usually the plans you find in sort of government, parastatal offices, police, teachers, etc. Um, so within these two brackets, you get you know, the majority of pension plans that you would have available to you. Now, if you're not employed and so you can't participate in an, uh, an employer-sponsored pension plan, there are individual pension plans that you can participate in. And what these mean is just that you don't have to be under the umbrella of an organization. You can contribute to this plan together with other people and then your money is pulled together and invested together so you're able to kind of command you know higher returns and manage risk and that kind of thing so that gives you a good idea of what a pension plan is um in most countries actually in, every, in all countries they are usually um regulated usually by a retirement benefits authority or some sort of capital markets authority so based on where you are you can kind of check pension plan uh, or pension schemes regulator and usually you should be able to find a whole list of approved or registered pension schemes. You can be sure that they have a watchdog over them who's making sure that your money is safe. And so something that's special about pension plans is that usually they have a tax benefit attached to them. And for you to kind of um, enjoy this tax benefit, the pension plan or the pension scheme needs to have been registered with that authority that I spoke about. Um, in Kenya, you can get up to 20,000 shillings or 30% of your gross salary, whichever is less, um, tax exempt when you're contributing to a pension plan. What that means is that if you have um, a certain salary, your gross salary, you can take out this pension amount um, from the gross salary and then whatever is left over. So let's say you earn 100,000 gross. So 100,000 and then you contribute 20,000, you subtract 20,000. And so only 80,000 is taxed. So that's what we mean when we say that there's a tax benefit to kind of contributing to a pension plan or a pension fund because your taxable income actually lowers and you're only taxed on the amount less the contribution. Now, it's important to note that sometimes you are taxed when you do get your benefit later on. So it's kind of like a deferred tax. And this is something that you can ask your pension plan provider to, to um, sort of um, 
explain to you and help you understand what it's going to look like then. So that's one thing that you should take advantage of when it comes to pension plans is the tax benefit that you enjoy when you're contributing and then making sure that you also get um, a commensurate tax benefit when you do get your lump sum or your contributions later on. So depending on which plan you choose, the tax regime looks different at the end. So it's important that you ask your provider to really explain to you what it's going to look like when you do retire. The second thing that you really want to take advantage of when it comes to pension plans is your ability to get a mortgage with your retirement savings as sort of the security. So, for example, in Kenya, you can get up to 60% of your retirement savings kind of securing your mortgage, and it usually has to be a mortgage for your primary residence. So this is one of those huge advantages to contributing to a pension plan that people don't really know about because if you've been doing it since you're like 22, 23, and you want to buy a house in your you know, mid-30s, then you'd have quite a bit of money there and you'd be able to use a big portion of it to be able to secure a mortgage, which means that you can start to own your primary residence. And one of the reasons why they do this is because in retirement, housing is a cost. You have to have, you know, a house. And it's much better if the house is yours, you own it, you don't have any mortgage on it, you kind of finished paying for it, you know, it belongs to you. And so no one can kick you out. It's one of those safety nets that's really good to have because in case you're not able to work or you don't want to work. Because then you always have a roof over your head and you don't really have to worry too much about where, where rent money is coming from. And that usually tends to be a very big chunk um, of your income and so this is one of the benefits that you should take advantage of and again when you're choosing a provider ask them to kind of explain to you how this works how much you need to have to be able to qualify for it what 60 percent really means and if they have any people that they usually work with and ask them to give you examples of people who've actually managed to do this successfully and then the final thing that you really want to make sure you can take advantage of is the retirement age so some pension schemes only let you get your lump sum and or um, periodic payments once you've reached a certain age, which is retirement age as defined by the country you're in. So in Kenya, that's 65 years old, I believe. And what you want to make sure is that if you have a plan to retire earlier or to stop working earlier, then you really want to make sure that you can access your pension plan before or at any age. So that if you, for example, reach your goal when you're in your 40s, your mid 40s, your 50s, then you can say, okay, I'm retired now, I want my lump sum, and, and you can kind of figure out how to live off of that amount um, for the rest of your life. This is one of those fine print things that you really want to make sure you understand before signing on to a pension plan. And so as you're looking for a pension plan, one of the things that you really is very important is to kind of shop around and find out from them how their performance has been over the past couple of years and, and when i say couple i mean like 15 20 years and the reason for this is so that you can understand how volatile their performance has been and this will give you a good idea of how uh, risk forward their investment strategy is so let me explain if you find that um, a certain pension plan has very, very volatile performance, so you know one year the the pension fund is performing at is giving you a ten percent return, the next day it's at eighteen, then it's at four, then it's at twenty four. You know you really want to ask yourself what's going on here, especially when you compare it to the market, the general market performance. So let's say that the way I described ten and then four and then I think it was eighteen and then twenty four ATC. If you see that it's very, it looks very different from what the market looks like, then you know that those up and downs, the fluctuations are not really being caused by market fluctuations. And so you want to ask yourself, why is that happening? And we always, always say past performance is not an indication of future performance, but it can give you a good sense of how the fund manager thinks about investing the pension fund. <clears throat> now, generally speaking, you won't find that pension funds give you like super high returns. They are low risk for two reasons. One is that they assume that you have a lot of time. And of course, it's your retirement. So you don't want to take, you know, these outsized risks with this money that you're really supposed to survive on for your 20, 30, 40 years after you stop working. Um, so don't expect them to give you, you know, outsized returns. What you're really looking for when you're looking for a pension a pension plan provider is um, steadiness 
and sort of predictability so you don't want things that you know look like a zigzag you want something that's a little bit more calm but is going up over time because you do need to beat inflation and so these are some of the questions you should be asking when you're looking for a pension plan and you know one of the things that i think is really important to note is that just because you have a pension plan doesn't mean that your retirement is actually secure when you look at kenya africa we find that 80 to 90 percent of people do not retire comfortably you retire poor and you have to continue working in old age so it's also important to understand what your retirement number looks like how much you need to put aside to be comfortable there are a couple of calculators that can help you figure this out and you should take that number and compare it to what your pension plan provider is giving you especially when you just take out that maximum um, amount that is uh, tax-free and then figure out how you can supplement that uh, pension plan with other investments to make sure that you are comfortable in your retirement years whether that happens when you're 60 or when you're 40 or even when you're 30 and so as you go along looking to secure your financial future um, ask these questions make sure that you let us know when you do find good pension plans so that others can learn from you and until next time, I will send you good vibes from my pocket to yours.